So I'm doing a story about artificial intelligence here at the Butte Library. I'm going to have Eden actually write my introduction, and then I'll present it to you. At the Butte Library, AI is playing AI a significant, is playing a role, significant in role in how is information accessed, is assessed, organized, organized and, and shared. shared. That was okay, John. Just okay? Come on. Now, with the new technology, we can actually give that power to the computers, and we will be able to interact with the computer in a human language, the same way that we are interacting right now. The Butte Library is one of the first in the state to use AI in which computers can not only find information, but generate ideas and even create. I asked Eden to write a poem, and it did it within a few seconds. Write me a poem about a three-legged dog named Lucky who likes to steal eggs. From <laughs> farmer's hens, he grabs his treasure, a fearless pup, without measure, with runny yolks and shells beside. Lucky, the egg thief, can't be denied. The main idea is to teach teenagers and kids about artificial intelligence in a very professional manner. Of course, we will try to make it fun for them, but of course, I will have to teach them about the ethics behind the artificial intelligence. Axel created an AI that is the ghost of Frank Little, who is a labor leader who was killed in a lynching in Butte in 1917. People will be able to ask the virtual Frank Little any questions about his life and times in Butte. I'm very excited to see what kind of questions they will ask. And do you think, how do you think Frank Little is going to respond? You created him. That's going to be a surprise because I don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know no. what, how he's going to react? No, because I set up the variables to uh, total freedom. So I'm not 100% sure what, uh, of course, he's going to say.